Alright, alright, now let me flush the toilet. Okay, oh my god! Uh, is that peas? Did I just pee peas? <laughs> so disgusting. Medical injuries mixed with puppets? What? A lot of you have been asking for this, so today we are reacting to SML YouTube channel. I have no idea what we are in for. Let's dive right in. <laughs> right, Mario, here's your oh medicine, and I brought you some cough drops, too. Okay, first of all, I'm not gonna take the cough drops because I feel like I'm choking on them when I'm sucking on them, and I'm not gonna take the NyQuil because it tastes horrible, and I don't want to go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Those cough drops, typically they have honey in them. Honey is an anti-inflammatory and it's been proven to actually reduce coughing just as much as cough syrup. But this is very common. We'll prescribe medications and then the patient's like, no, I don't want to take it. Your temperature is hot AF. Is this doctor actually wearing a helmet? Pretty big red flag. Does he have a pencil stuck up his nose? If a doctor came in all disheveled, be a little concerned. Well, I am burning up. I have a fever. Fevers are typically 38 degrees Celsius, which is 100. 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit. Once you start getting 105, 106, you're actually gonna start to become altered. So you need to get to the hospital. And we also have that you have a rash on your pee pee and it burns when you pee. Burning with urination typically is a urinary tract infection or fungal infection or it could potentially be an STI. I don't need any lotion. I don't need anything. I'm sick. I have the flu. Oh, do you have the flu, guy? Flu caused by the influenza virus. A lot of times people will describe flu like symptoms. We'll call them constitutional symptoms runny nose, cough, not feeling well, body aches, fever, fatigue, weakness, those sorts of symptoms. I think we need to operate. <laughs> All right, daddy, I need to check your vitals before <laughs> we operate. Vital signs are blood pressure, your temperature, your heart rate, and your respiratory rate. Well, I need to listen to your butt. <gasps> daddy, you got poop in your butt. <laughs> I, don't I think we need to operate. I don't have to poop in my butt. You don't need to operate on my butt. No, yeah. daddy, we got to operate. I got to scrape it. Oh my gosh. No, we don't use those kind of objects to go up your butt. If we ever have to get poop out of somebody's rectum, it's actually Actually manual with a finger. Sometimes we'll help use enemas, which is squirting different types of fluids up there to get it wash out. Oh my God. There have been times when people come to the emergency department with a broken penis. You broke your penis. So all the tissue can actually snap and bend and you can rupture blood vessels and you need to get to the hospital immediately. Nobody wants an L-shaped penis if they can avoid it. This is what I was doing. Ow, 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 stop, stop, stop doing that. There, problem solved. I'll bill your insurance. <laughs> well, no, he said he's still in pain, though. Well, of course he's in pain. He's been smacking himself in his private parts. It's gonna hurt. It's actually quite common. Hey, doc, when I do this, it hurts. So it's like, well, don't do that. And then we've tried to figure out what initially caused the pain. But don't keep doing something that hurts just to show somebody that uh, this is what it is. I, I think we should do an x-ray. Oh, you, you think we should do an x-ray. Typically, x-rays won't be a benefit. You're gonna barely see any soft tissue related to the genitals. X-rays will show up different densities just relating to bone and kind of soft tissue, but you really can't see any detail. What's wrong with my son on the X-ray? Ah, uh, yeah, your son. Uh, you, you see those cracks right there? Yeah. Yeah, and they're not supposed to be there. That that is the result of years of him doing this little number right here. So if you do fracture your inferior or your superior pubic rami, most of the time, if it's just broken on one of them, you can walk on it. It will just cause pain. But if they're both fractured on the same side, then they're potentially unstable. So you'll have an issue related to walking. Can I get a marker or something and color in your hair? No, Jeffy, look, there's not much I can do about being bald. Which is true. Once you start balding, you can use topical medications or pills, but once it kind of starts, that's where it's headed, so to speak. Hey there, somebody call a doctor? <sighs> yes, doctor. So I'm going bald. Haha, <laughs> you're bald, bald. Yeah, so no, bald. we typically won't do that. We're pretty compassionate people, but we are straight shooters. So we'll tell you what's going on, what are your options, and what might happen have contributed to balding or losing your hair faster at a certain period of time in your life. What do we do? Like, can I get hair implants? Oh yeah, I can give you hair implants. Oh, thank God. How much are they? Oh, they're about $100,000. Well, I can't afford that. So there are people, physicians that are specialists in doing this and hair transplant. Some people are quite successful at it, others not. And it can get expensive and typically not covered by insurance. I guess we could just turn on the TV and hope a cheaper option shows up. Hello, I am Dr. Friedrich Finkelschitz. Yeah, there are always ads out there on TV, but you see the ads out there for like Propecia, hair loss, Rogaine. Now we wait for five seconds. Oh, it worked. My God, I'm gonna order that right now. <laughs> it's like a Chia Pet. Remember those old school like Chia Pets where you put these seeds on and then 
Ch -ch -ch Chia. Just hurry up and do it. What do I do? Spray the top of my head. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. No, he got it in my eyes. Oh, I'm sorry, Jeffy. So, actually, if you get a chemical in your eye that shouldn't be there, hurts, wash it out. We have eye wash stations at the hospital, but you can just run it under the sink for a while. <gasps> Dang, I can't do it. <laughs> oh, that's so much hair. <laughs> oh, my it gosh. Spray the top of my head. Oh, I'm scared. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Did it work? Yes, Beautiful. Look so at this head of hair. I do? I bet I look so sexy. <laughs> I wish that was something that was out there, but it doesn't exist. But as I said, there are shampoos, topicals, there are pills. It's up to you what you want to do relating to hair loss. He's sneezing on my pizza. I have a pizza in there. It's covered in boogers. So I need you to heal him so he can make some food for me right now. I mean, I can give him some medicine, but it's gonna take like three or four days before he actually Oh, that's it. true, thank you. He may be prescribing an antibiotic if it's a bacterial infection, but most of the time colds are related to viruses. A virus won't actually get better if you treat it with an antibiotic. Look, I know you guys have the cure for cancer and you don't wanna <laughs> give it to the public because you know that you're making a buttload of money off the treatment. Who told you that? Oh, I have Google, damn. Yeah, so go ahead and give him a magical pill that I know you doctors have so he can get better and make me some food. <laughs> We don't have magical pills. I wish we did. Most of the time, we're optimizing your body to allow your own natural fighters to actually fight the infection. Right, I do have this magical pill right here that'll make him feel better in about an hour or so. This pill looks like Nexium, this little purple pill, which is basically for your stomach. But I gotta warn you, this pill has some pretty crazy side effects. I'm talking stuff that you can't even imagine. Things that you've never seen before. Every medication that we prescribe has side effects. Some are horrible and some are not that bad. Not every Everybody will get these side effects. One guy who took this pill grew a tail, a <laughs> rattlesnake tail. And then another person who took this pill, his lungs exploded. And then somebody else who took this pill scratched his own eyes out because he thought his eyes were scratching sniff stickers. <laughs> I've never seen any of these related to the side effects of a medication. The majority of the side effects that I see for medications include nausea, vomiting, like GI upsets, hives, or swelling, difficulty breathing, sometimes related to allergic reaction. <sighs> all right, all right, now let me flush the toilet. Oh, oh my God! Uh <laughs> So disgusting. Chunks that we see come out of somebody's urine, typically blood clots, and the other thing, kidney stones. Okay, so let me get this straight. Chef pee pee peas peas. <laughs> I'd say that 20 times fast. Chef pee pee peas peas. Actually kind of funny, pretty good. I like that the way they're going about it, but their dialogue is pretty funny and entertaining. So if you guys really enjoyed this like I did, please let me know in the comments and definitely Binge watch this series right here. Check out all these videos. And as always, please make sure you subscribe, turn those bell notifications on, hit that like button. Thank you so much for watching and stay healthy, my friends.